Well, hello. As you can see, looks a bit different, doesn't it? Where are we? We're in the uh, second second room of the pump room. Pump room 2.0. Don't talk too close to the mic. Hello. You can be like- I'm here. having fun with this. It's a bit too close, I think. So this has taken us about a week to do. Yeah, no, exactly a week. It's Friday. We it's started last Friday properly. Last Friday, so yeah. So Ali, how's your day? It's been great. It's been good so far. Uh, Chrissy has been an absolute nightmare to work with. Uh, standard situation as normal. Now we are going to be talking about this wonderful bar. Tell us about your hair. My hair has decided to... Uh, yeah, great, cool. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> as you can see, we have a sh ton of bottles up. This is all the bottles we had in storage. So you can kind of guess how much booze we have. So as you can see over here on the top shelf, we have... We have rum, triple sec. And on the shelf there, what do we have? We have gin and we also have vodka. And on that shelf over there? Liqueurs. But we have the most important liqueur. Liquor 43. A Dory. Dory. And on the shelf below... We have a selection of... Not that one, the other one. But this one, Jägermeister and uh, coffee liqueur. And down here we have... A selection... A whole load of shit. Loads of shit. We have a whole load of shit on the shelf. This is our shit shelf. Welcome to the shit shelf. This isn't shit. Muzai's not shit. Muzai's not shit. Ah, oh, Jägermeister's not shit. And Campari, I love Campari. <laughs> oh, it smells like eggs now. And on the front bar we have one of our most important things. Candle. candle. <laughs> That reeks. So as you can see, we've lined the bar top with a metal edging and we've also painted it. So yeah, so you might be able to recognize this sort of bar top from an LCC. It's mainly because of her and her uh, wonderful experience at London Cocktail Club. This is what they do. They use chipboard and then they use exterior wood paint, um, which gives it a little bit of gloss. I think how many coats was it? Three coats? Three, 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 three coats. coats. Three coats on there. As you can see underneath, potentially we've got the uh, pallets. So we did a traditional sort of pallet bar. Um, we then filled up the gaps with other bits of uh, random woods. So there's a bit of MDF, bit of chipboard, a little bit of uh, stuff that we found lying about outside. Um, that is a coconut on your boob. I'll take over the mic, thank you very much. So we did this metal edging, um, which is actually probably one of the most expensive things of the bar. Um, we then cut it with uh, a little hacksaw, very much, uh, very, very standard sort of stuff. Some big old, some big old biddies right there. <clears throat> um, Moving swiftly on. From behind, we have put up some glass racks, which is uh, what Chris is uh, standing in front of, and also another glass rack here. And we also put up a magnetic knife rack, which has all the uh, usual things on there. She's now grabbing a machete. This could only go so well. Don't cut your hair. Need to sharpen it a bit more. Put that back. Hello, and I am your amazing host, Cressida, here to show you behind our bar where the magic happens. It's almost finished, but it's not quite. So if you walk over here, you can see this table that we constructed out of plywood and struts. These are struts. Um, so if you look over here, we have a kettle, a lamp, some kitchen roll, a juicer, a light, some mugs, a bedazzler. Oh, yes. And then we have this, and there is Nothing in it. And if you come down here with me, hello, oh, yeah, we're going down, we're going down. You can see our freezer. It's got nothing in it. And if you follow me to this part of the bar, you can see we have these two lovely structures. 
outside benches where we will be keeping garnishes and all other kinds of shit we hide from view. Uh, we'll probably be putting in some hooks here for tools and general stuff. This is a station. It's our lovely, our lovely ice well, which we managed to grab. And then we have all this cool stuff from, uh, from Malibu. Anyway, and if you look over here, we have our biscuit shelf, our shelf. Where, so we have got, is that, what are these custard creams? Is it Biscoff or bis, Bisquiff? Bisquiffy? Biscoffy? And fiber one 90 calorie bars. The brownies where you don't feel guilty. These are our glass, right? This. It moves, it moves. We thought it was attached for like six months. Not even six, like four months or something. We just thought it was attached and it moved the other day. Blew off minds and then if you look over here we have bookshelves bookshelves some guitars our famous petrol pump pourer one and two the good one and the shit one because one of them leaks i think they're both leak i'm not sure we're still working on it leave me alone patent pending patent pending uh, and if we look up there we have something where we're going to stick a tv because you know what we want to eat nachos and watch um the, the nfl anyway and if you look up there you can actually see the rum shelf ta-da there are some actual rums and there's some not actual rums I'll let you be the judge of that. And there's some triple sec. But yeah, so this is what we have. It's a much bigger space so that you can do lunges in the space. Look at these lunges. Oh my God, that's a drill. Ta-da. Now we're going to show you one of the most important parts of this entire fin, babe. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Hey. Oh. Okay, if you follow me over here. Oh, look, there's a light. It's really bright. There's another light. There's a stool. Wow. Wow another light welcome to our crib the most important part of our crib that was a mop you just knock over a mop anyway tell us about the fridge so this is a fridge it's cold as you can see we have the most important things you need we have unity lager we have Timaria ice cold frappe the only good sort of coffee thing you can get in a can hooch hooch raspberry lemonade hula hooch which is passion fruit and mango it's the tits we have peach and raspberry VK, some champagne, rosy champagne, more hooch, some monster. Uh, these are our own pre batches, so Guinness reduction, iron brew, and like a cranberry reduction type thingy. And then like all the f***ing Red Bull and some more VK. But uh, hi Red Bull, we would really like a Red Bull fridge still. It's been a, it's been a while. We just we just have so much Red Bull because we don't f***ing sleep. All we do is live here and record. This is like Big Brother, except we're f***ing alcoholics and we're gay. Gay as Gay as Anyway, close the fridge, which we got full free, full free. We didn't pay a thing for this fridge. And then down here we have a freezer. There's also nothing in this freezer. So this bar has taken a week to build. Um, we have done it on practically zero budget. I think we have spent, we have spent 230 pounds all in all on building this bar, which um, we've managed to upcycle pallets and whatever else we could find and put everything together. We've also found loads of random wood and also in home base, they have this great thing called a timber bin. So all of our shelves are made from the shit we found the timber bin, especially the Jaeger stuff. So you can get some great things. You can also get some shit things. The most expensive thing we um, we bought for the bar was these lovely things. How much were they each? 23 pounds for two meters and we bought four meters. So yeah, that was probably the most expensive thing. And then uh, the next is like the, the plywood. Otherwise, for a bar during lockdown, this is not too bad. So like, if you have any random space or like just f it, like get rid of your bed, chop your bed down, get a hammock, build a bar in your room, have fun. F it all off. All you need is drill, sander, no life tool, which none of us have because all we're doing in lockdown is dying on Zoom and overthinking everything. But check out this wood that you sanded. Ooh, I sanded the wood. Look, when you sand, you must press down super, super hard because that's how you sand. It only works if you push down so hard that the sandy thing stops moving and you just do it by hand. Super important that, like, God, like there's no other way you can sand really, is there, Ali? No, no. Best thing to do is is just go in with little experience and uh, say a little and prayer thread, and thread your screws. Oh yeah, thread, threading oh. your screws is super important. If you can't thread your screws, you basically you f you don't even know how to do DIY. You don't want to get rid of the bar, so why would you? Why would you want unthreaded screws? Exactly, Un like unthreaded screws are just a poor man's game of failure. If your if your screws aren't threaded, it means you're not properly committed. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode of myself and. Ali, remember, new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Three lots of videos a week. F me, are you special? You're so special. I love you so, so much. So much. It's gone now. Uh -huh. You've had that in the whole time as well. F you. <laughs> and you waited this long to tell me. I waited till the end to tell you. <laughs> 
Am I keeping this in the edit? I'll quit. Yes. I'll quit. I'll quit. I'll quit. <laughs> quit.